Right, girlies, the glasses are going on, which means one thing, it's time. And today, we need to talk about collagen because it's bloody everywhere. The targeted ads, they sound convincing, don't they? But the actual science? Let's see about it, shall we? So, what is collagen? Well, it's the most abundant protein in your body. It's the scaffolding that holds everything together. It gives your skin its bounce, supports your joints, and it keeps the connective tissue that surrounds your muscles and organs strong and resilient. So it's a big deal. And your body naturally makes collagen, but from your mid-twenties, the production starts to decline, and then it drops even more sharply after menopause, thanks to those hormonal shifts. So, cue the wellness world latching on. Collagen powders, drinks, gummies, you name it, they're everywhere, aren't they? But when it comes to the science, here's what we know. So for skin, hydrolyzed collagen supplementation shows modest, statistically significant improvements in skin hydration, elasticity, and the one we want, fine lines. But this year, a meta-analysis found that when you only look at high-quality, non-industry funded studies, Mm -hmm. there doesn't seem to be any effect of collagen on skin health. When it comes to hair and nails, ooh, very limited evidence here, if any. Most is preclinical or anecdotal at best, so don't expect miracles for this one. But when it comes to joint health, it looks pretty promising. Hydrolyzed collagen, again, has demonstrated small to moderate improvements in pain and function in those with osteoarthritis and joint discomfort. So I think this is where it seems collagen actually delivers. But here's the truth that no supplement company is going to tell you. So most people think that if you ingest collagen, whether that's in supplements, but also in your diet through meat, fish, bone broth, you think your body's just going to absorb it whole and then it will work its magic. It doesn't. What happens is collagen is broken down into smaller molecules, which act as signals telling your body to make more collagen. Whether your body responds to those signals, it depends on your baseline biology and you having certain things in place, like a balanced diet with enough protein and adequate nutrients, good quality sleep and healthy hormone levels. But if any of those are off from stress, under eating, poor sleep, hormonal shifts, then the signal is going to become weaker. And so taking that collagen probably isn't going to do much because your body won't be able to respond to it. So in short, collagen only builds beauty from the inside out if your body has the foundations to respond. So think of it as the finishing touch, not the first step.